Hurricane Melissa is packing winds of 175 miles per hour, the strongest storm on Earth right now. And while airports shut down on the ground up in the sky, pilots and dispatchers are playing chess with a Category 5 hurricane. No airliner ever flies through a hurricane's core. The National Hurricane Center and air traffic control create exclusion zones hundreds of miles wide around the eyewall. Airlines use real-time storm track data and weather radar to build flight plans that give these systems a 200 to 300 mile safety buffer. Hurricanes can extend wind fields well beyond what passengers ever feel in cruise. Hurricane Melissa's cloud tops are reaching 50,000 feet, higher than any commercial aircraft can fly. Even if a jet tried to go over, it physically can't. So pilots reroute laterally, threading between outer spiral bands, regions of heavy but navigable weather, while staying clear of the violent eyewall convection. Onboard radar can see storm cells more than 100 miles ahead, giving pilots time to make smooth deviations. Airports in the storm path, like Kingston and Montego Bay, shut down up to 24 hours before landfall. But evacuation, diversion and ferry flights still operate along carefully planned safe corridors. These are mapped between air traffic centers across the Caribbean, coordinated down to minutes and miles once winds exceed around 50 knots, commercial operations stop completely. No jet flies through the eyewall, ever. Flight plans build in hundreds of miles of clearance. Modern weather radar sees and avoids the dangerous bands. Dispatchers monitor real-time wind fields, pressure and storm movement hour by hour. Even in total airport closures, airspace above the hurricane is tightly managed with transatlantic and regional routes shifted like a living air map. This isn't luck, it's precision aviation engineering moving around a storm that can tear roofs off houses, but not throw modern aviation off its game.